Today I wanted to experiment with this. This is the ESP12V, so it's a module with the ESP8266 Wi-Fi on board, and I want to connect that to the uh, ThingSpeak cloud website that I've shown before um, with other uh, Internet of Things experiments. So uh, let's give that a go. This device here, this is called the ESP12V, this module. So it's got a very common Wi-Fi chip on it. This is the ESP8266. So you've got the Wi-Fi chip here with its own integrated antenna, you can see at the end there. And in this case the the Wi-Fi module has been integrated on top of this board and this is very convenient because you've got the pins that you can easily put it in a breadboard and you've got the USB interface that you can use for programming it and you can also even connect it into the Arduino software now, the Arduino IDE and you can completely program this using the Arduino tools which is really convenient if you're already familiar with those uh, desktop tools that um, that are available for Arduino. So um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to program this I'm going to put some software on board I'm going to use the MQTT protocol that I've spoken about in previous videos so I'm going to load some software on here and this is going to send messages using this protocol called MQTT and we'll set up a page on the ThingSpeak website so Thing, ThingSpeak is the free Internet of Things visualization package that's available online um, from the company uh, MathWorks who also make MATLAB and uh, so we'll send some messages from here onto the ThingSpeak platform and we'll make some data points appear on a graph and once we've got that co connectivity working I'll then add some kind of sensor on, on here. I haven't decided what I'm going to add here but I'll just have a look through my toolbox and see what sensors are uh, available there and we'll connect something up to here and we'll send some real data into ThingSpeak. This is what I've decided to connect up to the ESP12. So this is a, a slot sensor so um, it's got a an LED on one side and it's got a photo transistor on the other side and the idea is that when something breaks the beam you can detect that something's in the slot so I think this came out of a VCR or maybe a CD player that I took apart and um, so I'm going to connect that up and use the ESP8266 to count things going through the slot so I'm looking at what's in that package we've got the LED on one side and the photo transistor on the other side and so what I've done is um, I've connected this up through a uh, through a current limiting resistor so that's to the 3 volt rail that's connected to ground this one I've connected to ground and here again we've got this connected to 3.3 volts and that's the output so the idea is that when the light is shining the this transistor is conducting and so this will be pulled down and the output will be low but then when uh, when you put something in the slot and there's no light falling on the transistor this will be off and then the output will be high. So I'm going to connect this up to the ESP module and we'll uh, count things going through the slot uh, using that slot sensor. So here we go, we've assembled the ESP8266 with its slot sensor and now we can switch over to ThingSpeak and um, configure a new channel to receive data from this setup. 
So we'll click New Channel here and name it ESP12V. And write a brief description. Going to name it Slot Counter. And that's basically all we need to do here. So we'll just scroll down and hit the Save Channel button. Now we need to grab the channel ID because this needs to be actually in our script. And we also need one more thing which is the API key so that we can write yeah, so that we can write to the API and send some data in. And there we go, that's the topic that's suitable for ThingSpeak. So we can now build our code and load it onto the ESP12E. We'll go back and look at the graph here. So now the code's been written to the board, so it's reprogramming. And we need to also start up the serial console here so that we can see what the program's doing. So let's start the serial monitor. And now we can try breaking the beam. So it's connected. We've sent a value of 1 to ThingSpeak. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for the data to show up on the graph. And there we go. So we've got our first value. We've got a value 1 for our slot counter graph. So the values are not always instantaneous. If I do another one here, we should get a value two. And there we go, that was that was pretty quick that time. So um, so you can see we're sending data to the to the platform in real time and um, we can send I think I think we can send one value every 15 seconds. So the, so the free version of ThingSpeak, you can send a value every 15 seconds. And um, to send more than that, you have to actually pay a fee. Um, and there are various different um, patterns they've, they've got there that you can pay for. So there we go. Uh, that's how you set it up. The, um, the code that I showed you briefly on the screen there, I'm going to upload that onto GitHub and I'll put the link below. It's based on one of the software samples that you get when you install the ESP8266 driver into your Arduino environment. Uh, I made a few changes. Um, so for example, I added a C++ class to manage the slot, to to count when something has gone into the slot and then come back out again. So if you're interested, you can uh, look at how that works. So that's the ESP12E, which is quite a small and neat and, uh, and quite cheap sort of module if you want Wi-Fi and uh, you can connect it up with the MQTT to the to the cloud and so it's an ideal sort of experimentation device for Internet of Things. So thanks very much for watching, see you next time.